All right, let's get started. Shift A, this time we're going to adding a empty and making sure you use the image. And then we come here to click there and then we're gonna change it to the view. Right now you see this is absolutely empty and there's nothing in there, so we need to load the image. All right, the reference image, we're gonna go to the object property and then we're gonna hit open and load the image. Right now we have this load in. And of course you can enable the opacity and then change this to dial it down a little bit so we can see that easier. All right, so now we can just hit G to grab it and try to line up the center of this circle where it's not technically a, a, a circle. So we're just trying to line up over here and because we're gonna do more justification later all right so next we're going to shift a to adding a circle so this time uh circle we are just going to 32 is a lot i think 16 is should be fine with what we're trying to do and then we're going to fill type nothing and make it is to the view so now we have the circle here hit s to shrink it down one thing you want to notice is uh you can see this the third circle is in the center of this a word origin. So basically, this time we need to align this a reference image to the circle in order to getting a proper uh, adjustment. I know this is a really low resolution uh, reference image, but however, a lot of times when you try into creating some uh, 3D logos, you can using this method. And a lot of time people don't have access to the actual uh, logo file. This is the another way to do this. So. Here we want to make sure we line up the the uh, the view properly. So it seems like like that should be good. And then I can adjusting the circle, and then I can hit S and X, just kind of getting this a little bit wider. And now you notice this is not even. So I'm gonna select this reference image G X. Just move here. It's not in the center. So let's do that. Hit S X. Do that. So it seems like this. Is Doing pretty good, so we can do Control Two to adding a subsurface modifier, and after that, I can just hit even S to scale it up. Now you can see this almost perfectly aligned to what we're trying to do. Okay, so now this is the circle number one, and uh, we are going to use this one to continue uh, finish the, the uh, this actually model. All right, Shift D to duplicate it, and hit S scale it up, and now you notice that this uh, circle is not directly uh, um, above or in the center of this. So I'm going to hit G, Z to drag it down, and hit S to shrink up, and G, Z to drag it down. And let's do S and the Z. I think this is a tiny bit different. G, Z to do that. So basically, I'm creating the geometry for the inner circle. Next, I'm going to continue working with this and the building the rest of this uh, model. Okay, so and I'm going to go to the edit mode. And now I'm going to temporarily disable the subsurface modifier. And I'm going to uh, do that shift D to duplicate it and hit S to shrink uh, scale it up. Now I'm going to do some justification. Do this. So hit S. GZ and enable the subsurface modifier to see how things goes. All right, so we can even turn on the on cage. So basically, everything's going to turn into a, a round uh, curve right, instead of a uh, cage, right? So GZ, drag it up. So we're just trying to align basically to the curve properly, and then we can start working on uh, the other shape. All right, so. Disable that. So I'm going to just select this vertice G to grab over here. This one G, grab over here. Now I'm select this vertices. Hit the E key to extrude it out. So I'm just going to put it here. Alt Z, go to the extra mode, do some justification. All right, select this vertices and just come down here. And same thing of this one as well. I'm just going to go with that. So select these two E. And towards through here, and hit S key to shrink it down. All right, so R to rotate it. Just do some minor justification. Uh, Control R to adding a loop cut. Hit S to scale it up. Double G. 
it doesn't have to be super precise by now this we're just trying to creating the geometry shapes in order to uh, getting this properly done so we need to definitely do more refined justification all right so hit g grab him here this one g in here now we're gonna select these two e come out in here so i'm going to select this one just to come down here making sure you are kind of line up to the geometry as the best way you can possibly do so same thing over here so about right there then we're gonna do that e and come here hit s control r hit s So basically having this practice or modeling practice, you should be able to get more and more confidence about uh, doing some unusual shapes and then you can you can really unlock your creativity to creating some cool designs or photorealistic uh, items or products inside of Blender. So E, come down here. I'm going to select that. So this is something I really love to working with Blender. It just opens up a lot of opportunities and uh, of course you are also having fun with it. So that's very important, right? If you're not having fun, you're not doing it right. Okay, so then hit E, come down here. Hit S to shrink it here. We can hit the R to rotate it if we need it. If we just wanna Put them on the edge, hit S to shrink it up. Okay, so G. Now, so this basically we already have this thing done, but next thing is we need to fill the other parts because because right now basically if I in disable the surface, this is not even a plane. So we need to making sure the geometry everything is working so I'm gonna disable the first uh, the inner circle I'm gonna start working on this one hit F key to fill that and then I can select these four vertices hit F key to fill it after you've done this and and also the red uh, the next to this you can just simply select this edge select these two vertices and hit F key the blender is going to automatically fill that so this is pretty cool right so stop right here because this is things getting a little complicated so if you hit f key it doesn't uh, fill automatically so you just need to manually select these hit f key and these two f key so we're gonna select that f key so one thing i want to point out the reason we are so easy to just to uh, bridge these uh, loops because we're using the same amount of vertices from the inner circle and outer circle and then we extrude things out using the, the one vertice so the total amount of vertices in here is exactly same amount in the circle which is 16 when we start adding circle so that's why uh, we don't need to worry too much about it next we are going to enable the, the reference image and then we are going to enable the subsurface modifier to see how things goes. All right. And now it looks all right, but you see the, this part is completely lost. And definitely we need to have some bevel to help him with this edge. And this is not a big issue. But right now we can definitely see the whole thing has been shrinked. So what we can do here, I can just simply turn on the on cage and then Alt Z. I'm going to select this top part and hit the S key to scale it up trying to line up the best way we can do and this one we can work it with it later all right so these more time i think that looks great so other than that i think the, the curve everything the edges has been lie on properly on there so what i can do here i'm just going to turn off these and then i'm going to extrude some thickness having giving this a, a thin plane. So I'll go to the side view, hit edit mode, hit A key to select everything, hit E, Y, and holding control key so you can snap to the a grid. So uh, you can just give that thickness right here. 
Now, if I enable the subsurface modifier, this thing is going to turn into a absolutely round. So we don't want that to happen. Okay, so what we can do here, we need to add in some bevels, especially on these sharp edges. So then we're going to go to the edit mode, edge selection mode, and then select sharp edges. Okay, now we select some sharp edges. Definitely, we need to do some justification to making sure that's all the edges that we want to do. So these two are not the one we want. So we can hit C key, uh, middle mouse button to uncheck it. And same thing for this one. C key, middle mouth, and C key, middle mouth. So obviously we don't need this uh, edge to be beveled. So we're gonna deselect that, all right? So next I'm going to do the same thing again. Control B to bevel it. And then everything has been selected properly. So I just do 0 0.002 and this, I think this time should be fine. All right, so we are going to come out the edit mode and uh, turn on the subsurface modifier, see how things goes. Oops, uh, obviously we also forgot to select this edge. So we're gonna make sure we did this, uh, select that edge as well. So select that. Let's do it one more time. Control B. 002. Should be good. Now turn on the subsurface modifier. Yeah, looking good. All right. Then disable the reference image. Let's see how things go. All right. Right click, shade smooth, and even better. Right? Beautiful. So if I turn on the reference image, looks exactly like the way on the reference image. Okay, next we are going to always to remember to fix the topology. So this is the big ngong. So I'm just going to select these two and hit J to join that. This is usually is uh, something that some work that you need done when you working with the corner. Uh, you need to just quickly link the vertices and yeah, to get rid of the ngongs. So it's not a big deal, but uh, if you want to perfect topology to something you have to keep it in mind. Okay, so I think that's everything for this. And uh, let's see, we can, I think this looks pretty good. And then next, I'm going to extrude the cir inner circle and I'm just going to uh, select whole circle, control F to do a grid fill. All right, so we did a grid fill and everything looking properly done. And then I'm gonna Alt Z, hit, hit E, a Y, and hit Snap. Hit the Control key to snap right here. So we have that. And then next, I'm going to come here to Edge Selection Mode, turn off the Subsurface Modifier, select Sharp Edges. And now this thing has been properly selected. Control B to bevel it. So let's do the same amount, 0 0.02, and hit Enter, come out and then turn on the subsurface modifier and right click shade smooth. So now this blender logo has been properly done and it has perfect topology, everything's in qua. So yeah, you should be able to really do creating this on your own and there's a lot of shapes that you can easily do creating through this sort of practice, all right? So I'm really hoping you're getting better on topology and modelings. i really hoping this series of videos really help you to getting better on Blender when you're modeling small gadgets and having deeper understanding about how topology works, all right? Thank you so much for your watching. If you enjoyed this video or this video series, please make sure you hit likes, share, and subscribe my channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next time. Bye.